Hey folks, it's Wade the Shoe Dog here at Shoemakers Academy. Okay, so what we have today is that we've got a pair of Brooks shoes. And, um, you know, this is an example of what happens when you, when you buy shoes uh, mail order, right? Brooks is a respectable brand. You know, they make high quality shoes. And um, in this case, uh mrs shoemakers academy uh bought a pair of shoes this is a pair of um brooks ghost women's 9 16 made in indonesia i notice i mean good or bad no it, it just is but we're gonna t so she got these shoes um mail ordered them uh, and um she there's a problem she said, "Hey, wait! I, I think they're like different size from each other, or something." So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna investigate a little bit and see what the issue is, because she she wore them, you know, around the house a little bit, and um, and there's some something going on. So again, this is all black. I hope you can see what's going on here. So this is a Brooks Ghost, um, and uh, women's nine. Indeed, made in Indonesia, and this is you know first things first is when someone says, "Hey, one shoe feels different from the other." You're like, "Let's let's make sure that they are in fact, um, uh, the same size, right?" So yes, the the tongue label, in fact, they both say, um, size nine. Okay, this one also says size nine. Good. Now we're gonna also we're gonna we're gonna just we're just gonna check couple of things here um and you know if you get your ruler out here or your uh, your your dial calipers and you can just pick a major feature on the outsole and uh we'll just we'll just measure the width of this heel block here and just because we want to see if these are exactly right okay so what do we got here looks like um oh we got inches here we don't want that one we want Okay, so it looks like a 26.2. Um, and then we'll measure up this side right here. And we get to, okay, 26.2. Okay, uh, that was kind of a small feature. I mean, let's just, let's just check some length here. So we'll go to the length of this, this tread block here. And what we're just trying to do is just to confirm that this is in fact the right size outsole, right? So this one we get to 62.8 and trying to measure from the same position uh, i think we were here right so hold on let's let's make sure we get from the right position here so we're going to do from the the medial side block on that line to here okay 62.6 .6, okay so now we're going to pick that same medial block here and here see we get to okay 62 okay so it, it's pretty clear to me that that these are in fact the right outsoles so and, and, and we're just we're going to put them side by side and, and just roll them together and just check that all of the the features here line up together right and it looks like they do okay so these are pretty well together right so we we can you know feels like these are the same size also okay that's cool now we're gonna we're gonna pull the footbed out and we're gonna check the footbed and uh the footbed marking is in fact the same you know it says you know must be 7.5 br so that's whatever the men's size to get to your women's nine and we're just going to lay them on the table here. Just quickly look you know, from a dimensional perspective here. Put them on top of each other face to face. Okay, so footbeds are the same size. That's good news. All right, now, when we're going to look, you know, what, what, what Andrea detected was she said, she said something was wrong with the, with the right shoe. And and it's interesting because when I have these on the on the workbench here, um, I instantly can see and that that this 
that this toe is a lot higher off the ground. And and we're just gonna we're just gonna take our millimeter ruler here. This toe is spring up here looks like 65, and strangely, this is 55. So that that's 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 pretty wild. Um and I I wanna I'll put these on the same line here on the table here. And uh, hopefully you can sort of see. Whoa, you can see like what what's going on here. This one is is way higher. <laughs> so what's what what on earth is going on here? Um, now I'm holding the shoes here and I'm looking looking at them and and I I'm, I'm noticing. Uh, and this is something that that Andrea said too is that this this point on the collar feels radically lower right and, and we're going to take our again our ruler and we're just measuring straight off the table here we'll we'll um what we're going to do here is we're going to do a couple of things we're going to we're going to measure off the table to that point okay and uh it looks like about 75 millimeters okay and we're going to measure off the floor to the same point on the on the upper of the shoe and holy smokes, it's like 85. It's a full 10 millimeters lower. And actually, I mean, this this is a... <laughs> okay, so there is something crazy with this shoe. Um, now, I'm looking at, I'm looking here at, at the heel. And, and what I notice right away is that is that you can see um what i'm looking at is the symmetry of of these panels here right and we can see that this is really low here right compared right when you put these two when you put these two you know side by side i'm putting a medial to medial here right and we're looking at it here and you go whoa you know when i put the ruler down it is it is really off and 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 what what we're looking at here is and it's kind of hard to see because these shoes are black but if you look at this shoe this one here you see the center line right of of the uh of where the upper is now look at this one it's not even close okay let's actually let's move this over here and, and maybe let's put them heel to heel here this maybe you could it'll be a better chance for you to see what's going on here and and i'm going to lay the ruler across i'm going to lay the, the ruler across here so you can see and i've got the the heel seam right and you can see that these shoe is this shoe's rotated you know this shoe right here you know you can see, where does the end of this little detail is is right here and on on the opposing shoe it's way wrapped around a lot it's wrapped around a lot further um so this shoe is is really rotated around so when you look at the sign view it's a question of how much of the um how much of that detail can you see right when you look at these two shoes you can see number one this shoe's a lot lower right and this detail is a lot further back so this thing is rotated uh, is rotated around so what what we're looking at here is is number one the upper is is clocked right so when they when they put the upper on the last right when they put it on the last you want everything to be straight you want to look at the markings and see that they're they're dead on right and what they've done here is that this shoe is rotated on the last so the upper is nice and soft right and it's a little you know you, you when you look at it you say okay it's hard to see but but it's rotated okay and then it's a little crooked um and when we, we want to look down um you know sometimes when you look at the strobel you can maybe see where the strobel is a little you can see how it's how it's how it's um it's rotated um a little bit hard to see on this but but the fact that that you can 
see just how different the collar height is from one side to the other, right? Um, you know, we'll just we'll just do another quick check here. So on this shoe, it's like 83 on the lateral side and somewhere about 85. This shoe, it's about 85. And then, whoa, way down here at 76. So, so the shoe is, is, is tilted and it's rotated. Other than that, the workmanship of the shoe looks great. You know, the, the stitching quality, I mean, there's barely any exposed stitching on this shoe because the way it's made, but uh, the way the logos are put on here, the, the, there's a little trace of glue here and there. Um, the stock fitting where the rubber pieces meet the EVA all looks beautifully clean. Um, you know, for, and I, I've examined a few of these shoes before, um, but it, it <laughs> it's really dramatically twisted. So you're like, okay, Brooks, um, what's your problem, right? Is someone not looking at this thing? You know, somebody should have caught this thing because when you when you look at it to see just how how the toe spring is so far is so far different from from each shoe, and then the collar height is just horrible. Okay, so. <laughs> So, so what am I saying here? What I'm saying here is that, that when you mail order a pair of shoes, you know, get them out of the box and look at them, right? Now, if you're in the store and you're looking at this pair of shoes, you put it on and you're like, this doesn't feel right. Well, this is, this is what can happen, right? So, um, uh, you know, it, 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 it's really useful for you to inspect before you buy. Even a reputable manufacturer like Brooks, they're still made by human hands, um, you know. So there could be some issues now, you know, it's one of those, you hate to see this cause it's a well-made shoe and these are expensive. And, um, but, and in fact, one shoe is perfect and the other shoe is really wonky. So, but Hey, while we've got the shoes here on the bench, uh, I want to just do a couple of checks here. Um, we're going to just check the, the foam density on this shoe. Um, you know, usually you do this when the shoes apart. Actually, it's funny that they give you a little landing spot right here that you can measure from. But um, we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna just find a big kind of spot here on the side wall, and we're just gonna, gonna measure here. Okay, a fifty-one, right? Uh, you know that's that's nice and soft. Um, you know we're somewhere in the ballpark here, fifty. Okay, so, you know, fifty is is a little bit soft. Um, I like. 55 is where I'd start. But again, this is the kind of shoe this is, right? Really big, you know, fluffy cloud like midsole. So, uh, you know, 50, 55, good number there. Um, we're just also, uh, I'm curious, um, you know, this rubber feels pretty nice too and, and pretty grippy. So we're just going to, we're going to take, we're going to do the same test and we're just going to, we're just going to just, just for, for giggles here, we're going to, we're going to check the rubber density on this shoe. Um, just so you can sort of see things we're looking at here. Okay, so this is a 50. Um, this is an A meter. This is a C meter. So you're you're checking EVA density with a C. You're checking rubber density with an A. Um, you know, same thing. This rubber compound is a little bit soft. You know, 50. You know, not not outside the ballpark here of, of what you'd expect for a shoe like this. But actually, quickly, while I just while I have you here. I want to show you the difference between these two durometer tools. You can see the missile is much bigger on the EVA tool, right? Because when you're pushing on foam, if it's a point, it'll just penetrate, right? And on the uh, on the rubber tool, uh, it's a bit smaller. Okay, that's that's the difference between durometer testers. So when you're creating a specification, you know you're going to specify, and then you want to you want to verify. So you know overall, you know. You know, not a, not a terrible, not a terrible pair of shoes, uh, but because they weren't lasted correctly, these are a bust, and uh, these are going back. And uh, Mrs. Shoemaker's Academy is going to get herself a brand new pair of shoes. And uh, you know, hey, Brooks, you know, whoever's making your shoes down in Indonesia, you know, get on it because these are these are not good. Uh, we demand better. These are expensive shoes. These are really expensive shoes. 
and uh, you and me and the rest of your customers, Brooks, deserve better than this. So, so please, hey, not every shoe's perfect, but this is obviously a screw up. You got to be watching this. Okay, folks. Hey, I really appreciate your time. And um, hey, there's a lot more like this. If you, we have an entire book on authentication, which is essentially quality control, and we actually have an online course that's all about quality control. And we, you know, walk you through inspection procedures. Um, if you look at some of our other videos uh, with Gary and Jack, and you can see them inspecting shoes on the assembly line. Um, again, it's really important. You know, if you're if you're a brand manager or a product manager yourself, you've got to get to the factory. You've got to look at this stuff, and you definitely need to have a third party inspector. You can't just trust that the factory is gonna gonna get it right every time you really need to get somebody in there and, and look at these shoes and uh brooks for sure come on guys you know we we, we demand better than this okay thanks folks bye